What is going on everybody? So as promised, it is the spooky season and I am excited to talk about an abundance of horror films this month. And the first one I'm going to be talking about is a film from the 1980s that because of Shudder I was able to watch, but I had never even heard of this film and I was pleasantly surprised by it. And the movie I'm going to be talking about today is Soul Survivor. Soul Survivor is directed by Tom Eberhardt. After inexplicably surviving a plane crash, TV station worker Denise tries to get on with her life. After she learns that she was actually supposed to die in the crash, the unseen specter of death starts sending its minions, people that have recently died, to collect her. I've seen a lot of people compare this movie to Final Destination, which obviously, you know, if you look at the premise as a whole, you get this idea of, like, escaping death and death coming back for you. But for me, personally, tonally, cinematographically, everything else about this film reminded me a lot more of, like, Carnival of Souls and It Follows. So you have this young woman, Denise, who escapes a plane crash. She's the only person left alive. They tell her it's completely a miracle that she would be able to survive. And she works at this TV station. She works with this actress who throughout the film were shown that this actress is having these like seemingly premonitions about random things in her world that she sees happening to people that she knows. And it's really inexplainable. And the two stories kind of play out side by side and obviously they connect whenever they're on set together and they talk together. But Denise's character sees her as kind of a loony tune, doesn't think that she's really all right in the head. Early on in the film, she goes to the doctor. She takes a romantic interest in the doctor who worked on her. You got that kind of cheesy 80s plot line that I really appreciated. And then all of a sudden she begins to be stalked by these people that were on the plane crash. And the way it's done is in such like an eerie and ominous way. It's the reason why I have a hard time comparing this to Final Destination, which don't get me wrong, a very long time ago I reviewed all the Final Destination films. I think when I started posting on this channel, might have been like my fourth video. It was really early on in posting last October. And I love those movies. They're dumb, they're schlocky, they're fun, but they're overly violent. This film has violence, but the violence feels much more gritty and realistic than Final Destination and I think the reason for that is because of just how subdued the story is. This is a very quiet and nuanced film aside from the suspenseful moments. It's really getting into our lead character's head, understanding what it would be like to survive such a horrendous trauma and then just trying to carry on with your life. And there are some moments that get a little hokey between her and the doctor and it's like he's immediately swooning over her and the two of them build this relationship and it comes off as comedic at times but I think that's the brilliance of 80s movies in general and this film obviously was incredibly low budget but I think what's really impressive is with the low budget what they were able to accomplish cinematographically with the camera is really impressive. There are some shots in this film that look really great and I think one of the reasons why the uh, film reminded me a lot of Carnival of Souls is obviously you have this you know, female lead character, but the shot selection in this, the shots are very wide. And so a lot of times she'll be in the frame and you'll see someone way off in the background that's coming towards her. And it gives you that buildup of suspense because it's not like it's someone right next to you. It's someone coming from a long distance away. And that's what made me think of Carnival of Souls is our lead character in that film constantly running away from this entity who's always seemingly really far away and then gets close up. And once the threat's close up, the camera gets it's really chaotic and brutal and really kind of puts you in the shoes of the lead character. And that's what I appreciated a lot about this was just the subtlety of the camera work and just kind of building that up for you as the audience member so that when they lay on the, the punch of what's happening and really like send these dead people after her, it's really intense. You have this really interesting spot in the film where she hires a cab driver to take her somewhere and the cab driver's like listening to this like sex radio talk station and he's like, saying all this really gross stuff to her and I was like oh god 1980s movies that are just like gross but he ends up similarly to the the disgusting cook and sleepaway camp he gets his just desserts in the best way possible so at least the director was cognizant enough to be like yeah we'll make this guy filthy and gross but we're gonna kill him and yeah I don't have much more to say other than this movie's a lot of fun if you're looking for a 1980s horror film that you may not have seen which I've never even heard of this movie until 
until I saw it on Shutter, and then I saw a couple days later Jay from Red Letter Media, who I really respect a lot and I think has really incredible opinions about film, posted like a, a screenshot of some films that he thought were great to watch for the spooky season and Soul Survivor was one of them on there and I thought that was really cool. But yeah, this is one that I'm really glad I watched. I, I can see myself adding this into the rotation pretty frequently. It was really entertaining, really well shot for such a low budget. I thought it was funny the moments that like the audio would clip and stuff like that. Like you could tell the budget wasn't super high, but they made use of the budget and the third act of the film goes pretty bonkers and I think you'll really enjoy this one. So have you seen Soul Survivor? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie movie was brilliant. It was super fun, entertaining, and really atmospheric, getting me in the mood for the spooky season. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.